Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video we are going to be comparing Airtable and ClickUp. We will be taking a look at the features of both of these tools, how they compare as project managers and also the pricing differences between them. Starting out with the pricing and if you would like to get the best deals and discounts available with both of these tools, I will leave links in the description where you can pick up those discounts. Now starting out with the pricing, if you would like to sign up for either of these tools, I will leave links down in the description. Both of these tools are going to offer free plans right here. We can see with both of these, we are essentially able to create unlimited project managers. We can see unlimited tasks and unlimited bases. We can set up to 1000 records per base, but you would have to have a very, very big project to go over 1000 records. But the biggest thing that I'm seeing in here that makes Airtable a better free plan than ClickUp is going to be the fact that you can have a gigabyte of attachments. Whereas on ClickUp right here, we can only have 100 megabytes. Aside from the free plan though, Airtable is super, super expensive when we compare this to ClickUp. I mean, this starts right here at $20 per month. And with this, we can have 50,000 records per base, 25,000 automations and 20 gig of attachments. With ClickUp, we only pay $7 for this unlimited plan and we essentially get unlimited everything. We get unlimited storage, we have the ability to have unlimited tasks because we get everything in the free plan. So right from the get-go, just based on the pricing and the features, this is definitely a pro for ClickUp so far. Now, if we jump into both of these tools and we create a new workspace right here, let's create a new one and then start from scratch. This is going to be Airtable. So we can essentially go in and let's say that this is a social media campaign. We can now go in and we can start creating the tasks for this. So one of the tasks in my project might be create profitable Facebook ads. Okay. And then the next one down here might be grow to 10,000 Instagram followers. You get the idea. We just list the tasks down here. Once those are entered, we can now go ahead and enter in some notes about this task and just give our team a breakdown on what these are. So we can enter the notes in right here and then we can set an assignee. So we just go along. We would obviously add team members to our board and then they are all going to show up right here. So we can add the assignee. We can go to the status right here and we can see if this is to do, if this is in progress or done. So let's say that this is to do. And then for this last field, I'm just going to delete this. What we can do is we can go in and we can choose from any of these other sections. So let's say as an example that we wanted to add a start and end date. We could add a date right here. We could call this start date just like this. And then we could add another one and we want to go for date again. We can call this end date and then create. And then in here, we can now go ahead and select these. Now, one downside to Airtable that I have found is the inability to add subtasks. So what subtasks are is this is a pretty big project, right? Create profitable Facebook ads. Well, with subtasks, I can go in and give my team step-by-step -step instructions of what to do, like write the ad copy, test the ad, carry this on and just have this as checkboxes. With Airtable, we can't actually do this. The only thing we can add is a checkbox, but this is just check or uncheck to indicate status. We can't actually go in here and type anything. Whereas with ClickUp, if we go in and we create a new space, once again, we can just call this marketing campaign. We can enter this in. And then in here, we can click on create space. So we can start that up right there. And the user interface is very different in these two tools, but it works very similarly. So let me show you what I mean. So we would just go in and in here I can type like create profitable Facebook ads, uh, grow Instagram. So in here we have the exact same tasks. And then over on this right hand side, we can go in and add a lot of the same data. So as an example, we can click in and we can add an assignee to this task. We can choose the due date right here. So let's set this to the 18th. We can then choose the priority of this task and to open up and add anything else, we can add them right here. So we have a due date already. I'm just going to go ahead and add in another date. We can set this to start date and then add this in right here. And then we just move these around just like this. So we can start this today. We now have the start and end date. However, 
on ClickUp, this is what I was talking about with subtasks. Because if we actually click in and open this up, down here, we can see we have subtasks. So I can go into my team and I can maybe say, create 20 creatives, create 20 subject lines, a test ads, pick winner, scale, just like this, right? And then I can assign an individual person. I can assign the priority, the due date for each subtask. And then my team can come along here and we can check this off. So we can say that this is complete, this is complete, we can say this is complete, and then we can actually go into the subtasks and check these off for the major task as well. Then once the task is done, we can move over to the board area. And let's say this is in progress right now, and then we can move this to complete once this has fully been completed. We can also access a similar view over here in Airtable if we just go to views and open up the Kanban view right here. You can see we have the exact same thing in here where we can drag these into the different sections and this is how we can keep track of this. Now, in terms of the templates that we get with both of these tools, we can create a new workspace right here and click on use templates. And both of these have a lot of different templates that we can use. So rather than building the entire thing from scratch, we can come in here and search for exactly what we are looking for. So if we type in like social media, we can see we have things like a content hub, non-profit pet rescue, start a social media marketing agency. We can close this down. We can maybe go for like finance, finance and management right here. And in Airtable, we can go over into the templates and apps, go to the full template library. And once again, let's search for like social media. And we can see we have a lot of templates here on Airtable that we are ready to use. The final thing that I will mention when comparing these tools is that ClickUp has a lot of features that Airtable doesn't have. So with Airtable, we can simply go in and do the project management aspect just like we can on ClickUp. However, ClickUp has all of these options down here that Airtable doesn't have. So this is things like clips and not all of these will be relevant to everybody. There are just some cool features that you might use where this is essentially a screen recorder. So we can select the microphone, start recording, and then this is going to record my screen. So I can go here, I can maybe show clients what we are doing and overall into their statistics, you get the idea. We can also go into timesheets and we could add a task in here. Let's say create profitable Facebook ads. And then my team can come along and they can start a timer. And this is going to track how long they are spending on each task. So let's say I wanted to put an hour in right now. I would just start, go about my work, and then I would just stop. And it's going to show how long I worked for. We also have this document section. So once again, like this is not a groundbreaking tool. You can literally use Google Docs for free, but it's kind of nice to have this inside of the tool as well. So in here, we can just go ahead and maybe this is a, a marketing script. We can type that in. And then in here, we have like an AI tool or we can just start writing and we can start typing out the document right here. So when it comes to comparing Airtable and ClickUp, with the actual features and the functionality of these tools, there is not a huge difference. In fact, I would actually say that ClickUp is better. It has a nicer user interface. You can add subtasks. We also get some additional features like the time tracking and the whiteboard. And there is really nothing that Airtable has that ClickUp doesn't. This combined with the pricing of the tools and the fact that Airtable is double the price, ClickUp is definitely the winner of this comparison. So that is my comparison of Airtable versus ClickUp. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.